India and China are ready for war in the Indian Ocean. Tension is building up not too far from the Indian mainland. In the Maldives, China is laying the foundation for an outpost. And Beijing has signed a secret defense deal with Mali. A secret defense deal. What this deal encompasses, one cannot tell for sure and China will not tell. Meet Mohammad Ghassan. He is the defense minister of the Maldives and he met with Zhang Baokun, who is China's deputy director of international military cooperation. The two men met in Mali. They shook hands and signed the deal. The elated Ministry of Defense of the Maldives then announced that China will be providing military assistance to the Maldives. But the question is, at what cost? And in exchange for what? Perhaps using the Maldives as an outpost. What Mali is failing to see here is that this is not a friendly neighbor trying to help a poor island nation. The dragon's designs are not benign. And if not, it's not seeking a partnership with the Maldives. China, in fact, is preparing for war with India in the Indian Ocean and it is looking for a platform. The Maldives and its dreams of partnership with China are just collateral damage, serving as nothing but a platform for China to set up a base in India's backyard. Time for some food for thought for Mali. Does it not find the timing of the deal foul? It was inked yesterday, just in time to precede the big event in Minicoy. You see, tomorrow, India will be commissioning INS Jatayu, India's second naval base in the Lakshadweep. We have been telling you all about it, about how India is building capacity, how the Indian Navy is becoming a formidable force in the Indian Ocean, a blue force, how Indian Navy is becoming more powerful. It is ready for a war with China. And here's another piece of information. India is also building a new jetty in Lakshadweep. It will be in the Androth Island. This is where it is on the map. The Indian Coast Guard is expected to commission this jetty soon. The Coast Guard also plans to build an air enclave in Minicoy. Radars, ships, coastal defense infrastructure has already been deployed in Lakshadweep. And it's just the start. A new airstrip is being built in Minicoy. It will facilitate the operations of Sukhoi 30 jets. Also Rafale. The airstrip in Agati is being upgraded as well. India has also deployed deterrence capabilities in the Andaman and Nicobar. India is also building a naval base on Great Nicobar Island. It overlooks the entrance to the Malacca Strait, a crucial choke point that is at the heart of the Chinese Malacan dilemma. You see, the waters and the wider Indian Ocean, integral to the Chinese economy, nine of China's top 10 crude oil suppliers transit the Indian Ocean. The Indian Ocean is also the main trading route between China and Europe. Chinese ships need to transit this stretch of water in order to engage with Africa and West Asia. And so far, these ships have been transiting the ocean more or less safely. But you see, that's not enough. China wants more. It wants control. It has the embassy in all of the six Indian Ocean islands, Sri Lanka, the Maldives, Mauritius, Seychelles, Madagascar, Comoros, but China is greedy. Diplomatic presence will not cut it. It wants to station troops as well. And China wants to militarize the Indian Ocean. In the year 2017, China opened its first outpost in the Indian Ocean in Djibouti, the Horn of Africa. In the year 2022, the Chinese foreign minister Wang Yi flew to Comoros and as I speak, there is Chinese aided activity in Coco Islands in Myanmar. There are 17 points in the Indian Ocean region with some degree of Chinese involvement. From Mombasa in Kenya to the Sudan port, which by the way, China has 49% ownership of. It also has control of the Hambantota port in Sri Lanka, the Gwadar deep water port in Pakistan. It is playing a role in the Chittagong port in Bangladesh. China has leased the Darwin port in Australia. What's next? The Maldives. A Chinese spy ship recently visited the Maldives. Beijing will not tell what the ship was up to, but one can imagine it was studying the tide, the seabed, the water. 
collecting data from the ocean, probably using it for submarine operation. Against whom is the question? You see, China has successfully made the Maldives a stooge in its war against India. Today, the Maldives sees red in having Indian men in uniform on its soil, even if they are only operating choppers that carry out medical evacuation and humanitarian missions. After signing the defense agreement with China, Moizu has stepped up his anti-India rhetoric. And earlier today, he said, and I'm quoting, there will be no Indian troops in the country come 10th of May. Not in uniform and not in civilian clothing. The Indian military will not be residing in this country in any form of clothing, unquote. It is no to Indian troops, but yes to anything Chinese. Money, men, medical aid. In fact, over the weekend, the Maldives accepted 12 ambulances from China and then it happily signed its name against the dotted line in the defense deal, not realizing what it is actually signing up for. Do you think the war between India and China in the Indian Ocean will only be limited to the two countries? The Maldives has been sucked into the Chinese grip. What about Sri Lanka? Last year, it refused to let a Chinese spy ship dock. The Philippines is boosting its naval defense, preparing for a possible war against China. Manila is taking Indian help. It is reportedly in talks with India to customize the Tejas MK-1A light combat aircraft, trying to equip it with advanced BrahMos NG missile system. You see, the stage is set. From deployment to deals, they are all in place. All that's needed now is a trigger, one, will drag, one that will drag two nuclear-powered Asian giants to war, one that could potentially escalate into a world war. We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the updates on the move.